All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Michael Maverick Chiesa and Neil Magny. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Neil Magny. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Spokane Valley, Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael Maverick Kiesa! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gunner. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging Nice punch. entry into the finish. The right. 
All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Kiesa's got an arm, looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. The Kimura's not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually nice makes it tap. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Big ball for Punch Lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at the angle of that nice body. And he lands the knee to the body now. Got clip with the right hand. Outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, round two. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big punch land. Ooh. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Try to establish that jab. Magny's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. As he gets caught, beautiful take down the tip land. to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh! Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Magni. Oh! there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He has a beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent this? You gotta be so aware defensively, because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips in all kinds of different stories. Nice body kick. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have landed for Neil Magny. And landing at a 49% clip tonight thus far against Neil Magny. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just misses there with the left. 
switching stances here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, single collar tie here. Kiesa gets caught with that punch. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Tags him with that uppercut. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Final seconds here. And he landed the right hand there. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Ooh, what a punch. Magny's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. And they separate. Got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. He hurt him. Going orthodox now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Three minutes to go in round three. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. Here, staying busy. He lands with the left. Nice punch there by Mag. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the phone. Kind of looks like me at the Boca Raton Boxing yeah. District. He's used everything. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, straight right. Oh, oh, big nice knee. knee. He has a convincing to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just missed with the left there. And they separate. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. An uppercut landed. Oh, oh, oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 15 seconds. Three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship rounds. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide 
of this fight. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good knock -up. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so good on the back. Nice. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Neil Magny pouring it on. Oh! Goes back to that left kick once again. All right, so the strike lands, but my my children hit hard. <laughs> yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his head snapping back. You can see the effect of what you're taking. Now, he has what just smacked on the ground. Like, good job, guy. What a fight. trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. Back to the feet now. It's nice, that's right. Defense there, huge block for him. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Just missed with the straight left hand. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Straight punch lands. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe try to get to a choke position here, DC. Final seconds. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Here we go, fifth and final round. Kiesa gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Right hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... Oh! Big knee to the body! Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Quick level change. Oh, he went single. Rotate head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh, nice big takedown. What 
a technique, what a takedown, great high impact skills. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, he's got his back now. He has his right back to the full mount. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he must hurt. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and take it down, cut, take it down, cut, over and over. He's securing these takedowns. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Single collar tie now. And he comes through with a big knee. Knee to the body. His misses are entertaining. Oh! One minute to go in the fight. Pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh! Oh, he's got one hand in, one hand out. Now what you're looking for defensively. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. The winner by unanimous decision, Michael Maverick Chiesa! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly